Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve right here today. This is the Heads Up Show, and we're going over your pictures. I'm going to give them a grade, tell you how much they suck. <laughs> Steve is going to tell you basically how great it, they are from a photographic yeah. standpoint. Are they how are they framed? How their the lighting is, and all that kind of good stuff. Exactly. And we really do appreciate you sending your photos, and we've got thousands to go through. So Steve, you go through. Basically, anything that catches my eye it makes it on the show, unless it's really blurry or something streaked. But if it catches my eye, and usually that means it's in focus, the helmet is the majority of the photo, it's not on your toilet or some nonsense. If you wanna be in the show, email your pictures, email them, email them <laughs> to pics at greengridiron.com. That's the only way to make it on this show. P-I-C-S at greengridiron. Dot com. Only yep. way to make it on the show. Don't send them to us through Facebook. Don't send them, send them through us through a DM or nope. a TikTok or whatever it is. We are waiting for somebody to wear their helmet, do their best Heisman, and send those pictures. And it's only been like three months we've been asking, where are you? I know that you're out there somewhere. Yeah. And if maybe if it's good enough, you'll either win a free T-shirt or one of these face coverings. We're doing our part to... Stop the spread, as they say. So we want yeah. to be able to shoot videos. We don't sell those, but we do sell <laughs> these. <laughs> this is shout out to Jerry, one of our guys that works here. His mom makes one, and I got ice cream. They're pops. for they're for dudes with beards. Yeah, basically. And I don't have my beard anymore, so mm -hmm. we're I'm good. Well, Steve, let's get into these. Okay. First up is Eric, and he says these are just a few helmets that I've done for my man cave. Oh boy. And now he sent in a whole bunch. I took about half because there were a lot. So there was too many. Uh, so this looks like a Philadelphia Eagles-esque. Yep. And I know a lot of other teams use that. This looks more like Ravens? Ravens-esque. Giants. That is super cool. Yeah. I love it. I'm giving this one a pick. Right out of the right gate. Right out of the gate. I think that's cool. I haven't seen this. Yep. This Jay's talking about this amazing Bills helmet. Man. I, you know, and typically I only grade these things based off of the equipment of, that's on the football helmet. And this is actually on a helmet that is my, one of my least, yeah. uh, I'm not going to say favorite because it doesn't make the favorite list. I, I just don't like the, the shut DNA helmets at all. This is a cool one too. I think, that, I think that's nice. Isn't that cool that but, Dolphins, how but, we did? But go back to that, that glow in the, I don't know, what, what, what do you call that paint? Glow in the dark? Or? I, well, I guess it's not so much glow in the dark as it's black light reactive. Yeah, black light. Yeah. The Bills part is almost secondary to the rest of it. I'm wondering, is that Bills decal also black light reactive or is that the red, is the, the red just changed to pink? I would imagine it's not. The red just goes to pink and then all that splatter which is nice splatter, by the way. I like, think it's fantastic. It's, it's great splatter. <laughs> it's so fun. So you so you win a, what is he getting? I think he's going to get one of these guys. You yeah. get a free face cover from Green Good Iron. Keep an eye on your email for a code. Because yeah, he's making helmets, and he needs something here to keep it out of, keep all that paint out That's of That's it, teeth. man. So you don't get a score because you get a perfect score. Mm, perfect score. All right, That's next okay. up is Clint. Oh, man. Dude. All right, so he says, hey, guys, I love the show. I love learning about the helmets. He runs an Auburn uniform database. Oh, boy. He's calling us out on something, isn't he? No, no. no. Um, no he said yet. he runs a site dedicated to documenting and recording all the history of the Auburn athletic. Yeah. Um, so he recently built this custom helmet of the Pat Sullivan tribute helmet, um, and he loves it, and it's a Riddell Speed. He gave a couple of... Uh, information bits here and he shot it on his canon t6 pretty decent camera and then he edited them in lightroom outstanding composition with these pictures dude yeah oh yeah these you're, are really nice you're getting uh, a pick from me just you're just getting it you earned it you're getting yourself uh, one of those free face covers and too. i'll say the helmets are nice but yeah. it's really it's all about the pictures. It's more things. about the school. I mean, he's obviously, he's on campus here. I've never been to Auburn, Steve. You? No. We need to go. I'd we're love that, to go. We're not that far away. We're really not. So what? After this whole thing is cleared up, Clint, we're going to come down and we're going to we're going to hang out. Go have a. You, you can tell us where to go have a beer or something. Yes. And uh, maybe we'll visit. So what we got nice that's going on here? He's got the rear 3D bumper that says War Eagles. Mm -hmm. War Eagle. I'm sure there's a front 3D bumper on there too. I can't tell. Uh, we've got all of the appropriate yeah. decals. I have a feeling he has connections with the Auburn equipment staff, so maybe he got them in there. In the front it says Tigers. 
I'm giving you a pick. You're going to win yourself one of those face covers. That's how it's done. Yeah, nice. maybe we should contact Clint when we before we do the Auburn Speed Flex giveaway build. Coming soon. Yeah, because we've got some ideas. Maybe we'll run our, our ideas by him and see yes. what he thinks. And maybe and, you know, he's got some ideas that we haven't thought of before. That's right. All right, Clint. All, All right, right, man. We're, we're going we're gonna to call and collaborate. Thanks, man. Next up is Michael. And Michael, short and sweet, didn't say anything, and he sent a nice collage for me. It's beautiful, and he chose a visor. This is the Under Armour Blue visor, and it goes great with these chrome decals. Uh, Do you see how even the front... It's real nice. Even the front bumper is a yeah. metallic oh, decal? Oh, yeah. And I think that he's purposely catching the light and the reflection in these oh, to yeah. really kind of show them off nice. Yeah, they look great. This, again, looks like a collectible helmet. Nice blue that warning. Has yeah, it's just it's just all been upgraded. I, you know, actually, this looks like a youth speed helmet. So most likely, what he's done here is he took a white youth speed helmet, got these decals from somewhere, put the whole thing together. You can tell he's done some extra painting and stuff on here because the uh, valve cap screw is yep. painted, and that's not something that you're going to see on a collectible helmet. So this is. Got this the right good. amount of flake in there, too. I'm going to give this guy an 8.7. Wow. First you, score of the day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 8.7. All very, right. Very nice job. There we go. Thanks, man. Next up is Tanner. And he says, hey, I'm Tanner. I'm 15 from Buffalo. He put this helmet together himself. He got all the parts off of eBay, Amazon. The helmet was supposed to be matte black, but it ended up being matte navy. <laughs> hmm. He knows the picks aren't great, but he tried. So I think that Matt Navy is actually an interesting play with this because, you know, you've got red, white, and blue. Yes. And the Navy is so close to black that if you didn't know, you might not know. But at the same time, I'm not offended at all by the, the Navy of the helmet. I, I actually think the Navy might be even a better choice because it's not so black. Now, the face mask color, on the other hand. I'm not okay with that. I'm not. It should be scarlet red. Yeah, it's cardinal red instead of scarlet red. Uh, I, so that's interesting. I like that he put the white buckle on top mm -hmm. and the stainless on the bottom. That's fun. That is nice. That's something that we see in the NFL. Football colleges do that as well. I think that we need to get this guy into a red or scarlet red face mask to match the red in the decals. And that'll take it up a notch. Um, you can see where he used some white spray paint to paint over the the shut on yeah. the back bumper of the helmet. I'm okay with that. That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's okay got the with NFL that. decal and a flag. I mean, for 15 years old, too. Yep. yep. We're going to give you extra points for all of the effort here. I'm going to go, Steve, with a 7.7. .7. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty, pretty good high, score. That's a man. pretty high score for something like this, but I think that there's a lot of potential here for another one. Take that and run, Tanner. Yeah. That's come, good. Come back when you, with your next helmet, and, and I want to get you into the eights. Yeah, all right. Next up is Travis, and he did write something. For some reason, it didn't make it, but I know that he got a bunch of stuff from us, and he put the decals on the visor himself. He, I believe, made them. So we got a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, obviously, he got this face mask from Green Gridiron, so we appreciate that because that's a color that, that we sell. We actually did one of those color face masks on a regular Seahawks helmet. Mm -hmm. This is the Seahawks amp helmet. I don't know if we have any more of these. If we don't, when they're gone, they're gone, right? Yeah, limited release. But overall, this whole design, I think it's super cool. I think that I love the rear 3D bumper. Yeah, I've never seen that before. No, this is, has to be some kind of a knockoff yeah. off of eBay or somewhere. Um, but what we don't have is we don't have a front 3D bumper. So where's the front bumper? What's up with that, man? Yeah, compl complement that nice HS4 mask. Yeah, so we got number 80, yeah. Steve Largent. We all know that. Yeah, of course. Oh. Uh, we've got a blue Under Armour visor. What's it's up a, with that chin strap, man? Yeah, so it's a chrome chin strap with look what looks like some gray straps, which is a pretty good combination to go with this helmet. Nice pieces that you selected on that one. Um, I'm going to go, Steve, with an 8.3. Nice. A front 3D bumper would have taken this thing to another level, though. I agree. Yeah. See if so you can get great job on that one. All right, next up is Stu, and he did this himself, and it is all stenciled and painted except for the flag decal. So 
What we have here, Steve, is a Toronto Raptors inspired helmet. Love the idea. I don't know much about the Raptors. Look at the city skyline in that number six. It's, it's amazing. That's cool. Uh, w when you look at it from too far away, it almost looks like it's just like a, a mistake. Yeah, yeah, like it's real. Um, 2019 champions on the back. It, and I think that these are a combination. I think that these are, are, are decals that are put on, like custom decals that are put on there, and, right? I don't, he and said then, that and then he... I think that. And then I think that there's clear coat over the entire thing, so it kind of looks like it's painted in. I could be wrong. It could be painted on. Could be. I mean, the sides with, clearly with, with look stenciled. stenciled. Yeah. Uh, the helmet choice. I think that all of this work went into. There's so much work went into doing this. I would say next time, if you're going to spend that much time and energy and attention to detail, yeah, pick a better helmet. I agree, and I know that you mean that in the best way. Because if this was on a newer, more current helmet design, it would be. I mean, just stupid cool. Yeah. Uh, face mask is painted gold. We have a gold. That Looks nice. It's close to that gold that's, yeah. a, that's a powder color. That's, uh, you, know, you could send it to us and we could do that. But this paint here matches the gold in the helmet. So yeah. I really like that. Um, everything about this helmet is, is really nice. I, 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 would do a, I would do a couple of things different, obviously, starting with the type of helmet. I might go with a different black, too. Mm. Maybe like a matte or something. But I like, I like the high gloss. Next one. Yeah. Um, Steve, I'm going to go with an 8.4. That's nice. Our yeah. neighbor to the north sending in some yeah. cool stuff, Really, man. really like it. We have a lot of people who are making their own today. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Next up is Jack. He says, hey, I'm Jack. I love watching your show. It's cool to see all the cool different helmets. And I have a cool helmet that was given to me by Steve Young and oh, boy. signed by some of the greats. Steve Young, Jerry Rice, Joe Montana. Wow. How does it, that happen? I guess it's debatable if you're considering them all greats, right? I'm on his side that they are. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Rice, yeah, man. Nice pictures, too. Given to him by Steve Young. I'm wondering if this is like one of the helmets that came out of his locker room or not. No, he's got nope. the big warning tag in there. So this is, this is a collectible. Uh, and back in the day when Steve Young played, I mean, they, it said Riddell on the helmets. That was um, back <laughs> when Riddell could advertise or any, you know, the companies could advertise their names on the helmets and so forth. And that chin strap is pretty close to what it looked like, too. Yeah, yeah. This is a VSR4 uh, shell, so it's a, kind of that classic uh, shell that uh, Riddell sells. I don't know off the top of my head if they sell them with the uh, San Fran Red face mask, though. Maybe, hmm. maybe they do. It's a good question. I think it's gray. Yeah. I think it's gray too. But, this back, is but nice. back back then that you know they wore that color yeah. for a few years. Which personally, I think they need to go back. There's no other gray yeah. in the helmet. I know. It's so... You know how I feel about that, Steve. You just hate it. If you there's no gray in that in the face mask, get it out of there. Just go with one of the colors that's in there. It looks so much better. And for that, I'm gonna give this some extra points. I I like the signatures. I'm not really a signature guy myself, but I get it for sure. Steve, this one, I'm going to go with an 8.5. All right. And I tell you, good use of portrait mode on your phone. You almost can't tell. It almost looks like it's shot with a really good camera. I so. wasn't looking. I thought they were good shots. They are good shots. Very, very good shots. Uh, next up is Eli. And this is another homemade, if you will not, you know, custom made, let's say. And here's what's interesting about this one. This looks to me like a game-used helmet, probably high school, that was sanded down as best you could, you know, taken apart, painted, and then all the decals put back onto it. You see, you can see the, the all of, you can see all of the scars of the helmet underneath yeah. the paint. And in this case, like, I actually kind of like that. I like that it's not totally perfect because it's clearly not a brand new helmet. So I think that it works yeah. like this. Own it. Yeah. Yeah. The, Own it. The face mask is, you know, not really it, a style. It's, it's a Riddell Revolution helmet. The face mask is a G2BDC, which is fine. It looks like it was painted as well. Yeah. Um, it's got that nice kind of sheen to yeah, it, satiny, satin. satiny sheen to it. I'm okay with it. It looks good. Decals yeah. look legit. Placed perfectly. Yeah. I'm, Steve, on this guy, let's go with... Uh, I don't know, a 3.2? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now be nice. No, we'll, we'll, 
How about a 7.5? <laughs> yes, exactly. Spoken like a true Clemson alumni. Next up and last of the day, totally awesome. <laughs> he gave a little description. So, he did oh boy. the you, Lannisters, the Starks. Targaryens? Like, are yep, they that, in there? They, so, so here's the question, Steve. Have you mentioned your Game of Thrones fandom mm, in this show at all? No, I would doubt it. Because, no. you know, I almost said earlier on in this video that, you know, when you were talking about wh why you ch choose specific photos that get, set, get sent in, is, you know, you, Steve has a lot of fetishes. I do have, I have stuff. <laughs> and a lot of them I don't know anything about. That's up to him if he wants to do these things or not. But uh, he chooses things that are related to those fetishes. And this was this is one of them. Yeah, a big Game of Thrones fan. These are really well done, even down to the color choices. And like, I, I like Game of Thrones, don't get me wrong, but I have no idea what the colors are. I, I think that these are cool. I'm wondering, that he had to have made these decals himself on a... Uh, you know, a, a printer and a cutter or blotter or whatever at yeah. home. Yeah. They're cool. Very cool. Yeah, the text font was smart. The Stark helmet with those real intricate dragon, that could not have been easy, and it's done proper like a knockout. Yes, and I, I, I'll say if we had done this, I would do things a little bit differently, obviously. I would, I would go with different helmet choices. I would probably get out of, out of control and use, you know, get some 3D bumpers made up, get some visors in there, <laughs> hard cup chin straps, um, the whole thing. I think this is really cool, though. He picked great colors of the helmets. I'm wondering if he painted those himself or got the helmets in those colors. Really cool. Yeah. Very really cool. cool. Very creative. I wonder how long ago he did this, but doesn't matter. Mike, that's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, I, I I think I'm gonna do it. Oh, uh, here we got another pick coming. <laughs> I'm giving you a pick, man. So you're gonna get one of those free face covers. Because, Good, because yeah. now I don't have to give it a score. See that? I just saved Jay a little effort as well. So that's all we got time for. So if you want to be on this show, we try to do it every week. Email your pictures to picks at greengridiron.com and be patient. It might take a couple of weeks. Or never. Or never. Yeah. So listen, really thanks for watching. Uh, click the Mm -hmm. So, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button. <laughs> I don't know, man. I say it every day. Notification bell. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.